Anti-inflammatory supplements can help improve overall health as well as help many lifestyle diseases such as arthritis. Often, we look to prescription anti-inflammatories, which can be hard on different organ systems, and some dogs really don't really react well on these medications. So in this video, we're gonna discuss three natural anti-inflammatory supplements for your dog to improve their health and their quality of life. Before I dive into the three, I will link to examples of each in the description down below, and always remember to start with small amounts of supplements or consult with your vet first to confirm the amount that should be given based on the weight of your dog. The first supplement we're gonna talk about is turmeric. The active anti-inflammatory ingredient in turmeric is curcumin. Turmeric can help to reduce inflammation and improve digestion. It can support liver function and reduce symptoms associated with arthritis. Now, this is a bright spice and it really has a pretty strong flavor. So it's best, I find anyways, to hide the flavor from your dog when you can. The way that we do this in our household is by using something that we call golden paste, or at least our version of it. You can look this up online, but basically what it is, is coconut oil as a base and then other ingredients of your choosing to mix in there as well. Now make sure to find a supplement that contains black pepper extract, which helps increase the absorption rate and increase the effects on the dog's body. The second is omega-3s. So most people have heard of the benefits of omega-3s for themselves. Uh, but taking omega-3s really helps to balance the ratio between omega-6s and omega-3s. Now most dog food ingredient will increase the level of omega-6s in the body, which will increase the ratio between 6 and 3. And what this does is it causes a pro-inflammatory environment within your dog. Rich animal sources of omega-3s are fish and krill, while they can also be found in plant sources like flax. Now it's important to distinguish one difference that is really important to understand, and that is that plant sources of omega-3s, ALA, will have to be converted in your dog's body to the animal forms, DHA and EPA. As a result of the conversion, your dog will not receive the same amount that they ingest. So for example, if they're given 100% of their daily recommended intake uh, and they take that in a plant form such as flax, they will receive a much smaller percentage for their body to utilize when it's converted over to the animal form. For this reason, I find it's best to give your dog animal sources of omega-3s. Now the last anti-inflammatory supplement is green lipid mussels. Green lipid muscles can be taken regularly and they can decrease joint pain and reduce stiffness as well as improve mobility. As a result, they are best suited for dogs with arthritis and other joint related issues. I hope that helps. And if you're unsure whether to give your dog an anti-inflammatory supplement or a specific joint supplement, check out the video I did up here on joint supplements specifically to figure out more on this topic. Hey there, thanks for watching the video. If you liked that video, you might also like the one down here. And if you really wanna show your support to us, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel over here. It means a lot to us. Take care.